I had started looking this engine over a week or so ago to check out what needed to be done on it before it gets put back on and to get it ready to put back on the airframe. I got a bucket there put underneath the engine and open up the drain valve and start draining the oil out of that and put a new filter on but I'm not going to take the old oil filter off until I get ready to put those hoses on there, the oil cooler hoses and I'm going to take the spark plugs off and clean them up. I've got a spark plug wrench for that. Uh oh, that takes a 3 8 not a half inch, so I'll have to go get a different I'll have to go get a different driver in the socket for that now. I thought it was a half inch drive, but it's a 3 8 inch drive. I got my spark plug cleaning set up over there on the bench. One of those is kind of a sandblaster kit, and the other one has an electric coil in it, plugs into uh, 120 volt and then generates a high voltage that you can use. You screw the spark plugs in there to the terminal on that and stick a, a plug in there and test it and you can test the spark on the plugs. And then there's a new test they want you to do now on the spark plugs and that's a resistance ch check on them. Anyway that's a two-part system on that. Most of the ones you'll see nowadays are all everything's all in one unit. Now, this is a pretty old outfit here. I got the spark plugs out and lined up on this tray uh, in accordance with the cylinder that they came out of. We got the top plugs here. There's two plugs, one in the top and one in the bottom of each cylinder. And we've got the top plugs here on the top and the bottom ones here, num number one, two, three, four. So the first thing to do is take these gaskets off. These are copper gaskets and they get hot and work hardened. So you replace those every time and I've got lots of them to replace them with but what I do with those uh, is anneal them, heat them up red hot and then quench them and that softens them back up again so that they'll seal again so they're reusable. But that should be done every time because they get hot and they get hard and then they don't seal properly. And they also make uh, a positive engagement, electrical engagement between the cylinder head and the uh, spark plug. So I've got my cleaning unit set up there. That's got an 18 millimeter uh, grommet in it. 18 millimeter is the size of the whole of the threads on these. I'll stick that in there. Hey, that's getting that cleaned up. Well, I got these all cleaned up on the cleaner and I went and got my magnifying light here. One of the things you want to do of course is look down in there and make sure you get all the BBs and crap out of there. But the other thing is you want to do is inspect these porcelains and the electrodes and stuff and, and check them out. You will need a good light to be able to get down there all the way in. Um, you want to make sure there's no cracks in the porcelain. Those things are kind of fragile. Sometimes detonation or something like that might cause them to crack, but you drop them on the floor, they're just about done for, and it'll crack them out. You've got to take those out so they don't crack out. Of course, you don't want the porcelain coming out in the cylinder. Anyway, those are all cleaned out. Now, this thing has the one way is abrasive blast, then it has an air blast in it, but you don't want to trust that air blast to clean those out. I like to go through these and spray them out with some starting fluid to wash them out and then spray them out with some compressed air real good and get them good and cleaned out. I don't have any starting fluid now. You've got a little bit of carburetor choke cleaner. I'll spray that down in them. I'm going to take them over to the shop, run them on the wire brush and get those threads all cleaned up and stuff and then I'll come back and uh, test these on the on the tester. Okay, I've got a uh, spark plug in there. And I've got the air turned up to about 110 pounds, which is about as high as I can get it to go. And I push the button here, and it generates a spark. And you can look down through this hole and then see the spark in the mirror. All right, the final test on these is to do an ohms test of the resistor. There's a resistor inside of these spark plugs. 
anyway there's a point down inside of there uh, it looks like a little screw head and put one probe of the ohm meter on that it doesn't matter which probe and then I'll take one probe and put it on the center conductor here and see my meter move and that's within limits there it's about 2000 I've got this on the times 10 and so that goes to 200 times 10 is about 2000 a little less than 2000 and that one's a little less about 1750 uh oh that one's not showing anything so that means that one's probably no good even though it tested good uh, in the bomb test okay that one's bad even though it tested good on the tester here the uh, internal resistance is bad on it so that's a hundred dollars down the drain I've got a new one in the box there that I can replace that one with now, all the rest of them are good so my spark plug cleaning and testing is done for oh I have to just test the gap on those I'll check that and the gap on these is supposed to be what 16 to 16 to 21 okay anyway that that's spark plugs I'll put new uh, gaskets on those and they'll be ready to go back in I've got one more thing to do for these spark plugs before I put them back in and that's to clean these threads out in the cylinders I've got a thread chaser here just a cleaner and it's got little grooves in there to pick up the dirt and crap that comes out of there I've put a little bit of grease in each one of those grooves so that it picks up any dirt and sticks to it and it doesn't fall into the cylinder that way so I'll go through each one of these and these pick up carbon and stuff like that in there in the threads uh, from using and, the, and they recommend some of the guys recommend cleaning those out every time you take the spark plugs in and out um, which helps prevent a cracked cylinder so I'll go get a wrench and turn that in and I don't see much crud on there but I'll take and wipe that off that grease off out of those slots put fresh grease on it and do that on the next cylinder <laughs>